According to the Revelation 9 verses 1 to 12 describes what happens at the blowing of the fifth trumpet. A star falls from heaven and opens the shaft of the bottomless pit, or literally, the abyss. As in Revelation 1 verse 20, this star is apparently an angel, only this is a fallen angel, and his possession of the key to the abyss indicates his authority over the abyss, a place of evil. Revelation 11 verse 7, 17 verse 8, 20 colon 1. We have here an allusion to Satan's fall from heaven and authority over the forces of evil, Revelation 9 verse 11. 12 colon 7 17. This star cannot be interpreted literally like the star in Revelation 8 verse 10, because the star here was given the key of the pit of the abyss. Who is this star? It is Satan himself. A star out of heaven fallen to the earth. This corresponds with the casting down in Revelation 12 verse 9. In the Bible, stars refer to messengers. Job 38 verse 7 says, When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. This clearly tells us that stars signify the angels in heaven. Since this star has fallen, it must not be a good star. It is he who transfigures himself into an angel of light for the purpose of deceiving others. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 All the three and a half years spoken of in Revelation begin at the same time and end at the same time. Revelation 11 verses 2 to 3, 12 colon 6 dash 14, and 13 colon 5 all happen at the same time. This star must fall before the start of the 42 months, before the Great Tribulation, because it falls at the fifth trumpet. The seventh trumpet is also sounded before the start of the 42 months. According to Book of Revelation 9 verse 2, And he opened the pit of the abyss, and smoke went up out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke of the pit. The word abyss means the depth. The abyss means the deepest pit. What is this abyss? It is the dwelling place of the devil. Luke 8 verse 28 and 31 tell us that it is the place where the devil suffers. Because the devil is here, suffering is here. When the devil comes to the world, this world becomes the devil's world. The falling of the star here corresponds with Luke 10 verse 18, which was the verdict of the casting down of Satan. Here in Revelation 9 verse 1 we have the execution of the casting down of Satan. While Satan is restricted, the pit of the abyss remains closed. The smoke indicates that there is fire. It is difficult to say how the abyss is opened. Deuteronomy 29 verse 23 says, And that all its land is sulfur and salt, a burning waste, that it is not sown, nor does it sprout, nor does any vegetation come up in it, that it is like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim, which Jehovah overthrew in his anger and burning wrath. The condition here is similar to the prophecy in Revelation 9 verse 2. Concerning the smoke, one can refer to Revelation 18 verses 8 to 9, 18 and 19 colon 3. In Revelation 8 verse 12 the heaven lost one-third of its light. Here in 9 colon 2 it has become completely darkened. In the former case, it was caused by the diminishing of the light-bearers themselves. Here it is caused by the darkening of the smoke. According to Book of Revelation 9 verse 3, And out of the smoke came forth locusts to the earth, and to them power was given, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Locusts This kind of locust is not the ordinary kind of locust because... 
1. According to Revelation 9 verse 4, these locusts do not eat the trees and the shrubs like ordinary locusts do. Moreover, ordinary locusts do not harm men, but these do. 2. They have power like the scorpions, book of Revelation 9 verse 3, and their torment is like that caused by the scorpions. Verse 5. From verses 7 through 10 we can tell that their appearance is very peculiar and not like the ordinary locusts. 3. Exodus 10 verse 14 says that there will never again be locusts like the ones that are there. 4. Proverbs 30 verse 27 says that the locusts have no king, but the locusts here have a king. 5. They come out of the pit of the abyss. The abyss is not an ordinary dwelling, but the dwelling place of the devil. These locusts are probably a kind of special creature. We can see this from the following. 1. Revelation 9 verse 3 and 10 say that they have power like the scorpions and that they are like horses with tails like scorpions and stings. Revelation 9 verse 19 says that the power of the horses are in their mouth and in their tails. Luke 10 verse 17 through 19 says that the Lord has given the believers authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions. The Lord's cross has pronounced Satan cast down. Revelation 9 verse 1 is the execution of the casting down of Satan. Revelation 9 verse 4, And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Locusts hurt green things, be it grass or trees, but this locusts, demons, from the bottomless pit are commanded not to hurt any green thing, but only men with no seal of God. Who are the men with seal of God? Earlier before, we saw the sealing of 144,000 with the seal of God. They are only of the tribes of the children of Israel. See the sealing of the 144,000. Video is available in description. This demons in form of locusts are coming to all Gentiles. Remember the Gentiles in Great Tribulation period denied to accept the price Jesus Christ paid on the cross for them to be raptured and escape God's wrath in the Great Tribulation period. The locusts are to torment humanity for five months not killing them. Revelation 9 verse 5, And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he strikes a man. Do you know the pain you feel when a scorpion strikes you? That is the pain humanity will face for five months as these demonic locusts torment them. It's where humanity will seek death and not find it. Revelation 9 verse 6, And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. In Revelation 09,7-10, the shape of the locusts is explained. Locusts do not have a king, Proverbs 30 verse 27. To prove that these locusts are not normal locusts, we see them with a king over them. Revelation 9 verse 11, And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollyon. Great tribulation period is God's wrath on earth. Every Gentile will die. Accept Jesus Christ today and escape God's wrath. Jesus is coming. Repent, repent, repent. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe Sermon TV for more videos. Comment your opinion.